Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics and in this video we're going to be talking about our systems across the North Atlantic. We have three disturbances, two of which are given high chances to develop and one might be a threat to portions of the Caribbean and we also have major Hurricane Sam which is still around and so before I go into details. Alright, so let's get start things with one of our disturbances first. So this is actually the remnants of what was Peter. And so we have them accelerating to the northeast. And there's a 50% chance that we could have regeneration of a tropical cyclone. So the chance has been stagnant at 50% for a while now. And we're going to see what eventually happens with this. But for the most part, it is not expected to be a threat to land during the next couple of days. And so now let's go ahead and talk about our next disturbances so this one here is located well to the southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands and as you're seeing it is given a high 80% chance to potentially develop into a tropical cyclone during the next couple of days and so it is expected to make its way westward and if it follows this track what we're seeing here then it is possible that the windward islands will be impacted by this if it manages to become a tropical cyclone and and so if this develop it might become either Victor or Wanda and the reason I say either of those names is because the other disturbance which is behind it has the same uh, chance to develop into a tropical cyclone so both of these could develop around the same time and really any one of them could develop first and so let's go on to that next one and we're seeing here that as I said it is also given an 80% chance to potentially develop into a tropical cyclone during the next couple of days and so this is expected to move westward but eventually start to make a west northwest for track and fortunately this is not going to be heading straight to the west but it is probably going to be making its way out to sea as it emerges from the coast of Africa and into the main development region even more and so guys we really have to wait and see what is going to be the eventual outcome with both of these systems but for now if you're in the windward islands you want to keep an eye on this because there is the chance that uh, one of these disturbances could become a tropical cyclone probably a depression by the midweek and if it continues accelerating westward then it is going to be bringing some impacts but let's hope that nothing bad happens and we'll see what happens as time goes by and so now let's go ahead and talk about major hurricane sam so sam is still a major hurricane at this time and it is also a weakening system so it peaked yesterday so with sam peaking with winds of 100 and 55 miles per hour and a pressure of 929 millibars it has become the strongest storm of the season surpassing ida and so with winds of 155 miles per hour that made it a high end category for a hurricane and so in terms of the pressure it is tied with ida for that because the pressure for both of those major storms was 929 millibars but in terms of wind sam is slightly stronger than what ida was and so now let's go ahead and take a look at the cone forecast for Sam. So we're seeing here that it has sustained winds of 130 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the northwest at 8 miles per hour. So general northwestward movement is anticipated from this and it is going to be accelerating faster as we head into the latter part of this week and fortunately by Saturday even though it is going to be major hurricane the center is likely to pass well to the east of Bermuda but that is just the center if the storm is quite big if it gets bigger at that time then Bermuda will be affected but not as severely as how a direct impact would have impacted the small island. So hopefully things are not going to be bad there when Sam is going to be making its way by. And in terms of what our models are forecasting in terms of the intensity, we have quite a bit that are available and so most agree that we will have gradual weakening but some of our models are showing that it is going to be fluctuating as a category for a hurricane throughout most of the 
this week here and I think that because of the owl replacement cycle which it is currently undergoing along with the infiltration of some dry air we'll go to the Saharan dust layer map very shortly so with those factors coming into place I don't think that this will strengthen into anything that is significant as how it was before so let's go ahead and take a look at favorability across the basin so first up is the wind shear map and so we're seeing here that the different colors they indicate the favorability of the wind shear we have the green that means favorable the yellow means neutral and the red means unfavorable so in the vicinity of sam the shear is quite favorable and it is expected to remain so during most of this week so as sam is going to be making its way to the northwest and eventually uh, making that turn to the north it is not going to be really impacted by the shear but on satellite imagery it is not looking so clear as you saw earlier it doesn't have a clear eye because it is undergoing that owl replacement cycle and so let's go on to the saharan dust map and so the different colors show how dense the Saharan dust is. So when you have the lighter yellows, uh, that indicates that the dust isn't very dense. It's minimal amounts of dust that's in the atmosphere. But as you head to the darker orange and the red and that pink shade, that is when the dust is very dense. And very dense Saharan dust, it prevents any tropical cyclone development because it inhibits moisture, which is what our tropical cyclones need in order to develop. So without that, then we won't see much intensity intensification of our tropical cyclone. So we're seeing here that we have some of the Saharan dust uh, affecting SAM. So it is infiltrating the cyclone, which could be the reason we're not seeing it looking so well on satellite, especially the western side of it. Uh, that is where we're seeing that dry air infiltrating the cyclone. So as time goes by, we're going to see what happens with it. Maybe it starts to eventually get better after a while when it mixes out all that dry air we'll see what is going to be the eventual outcome with this and so guys that is really it for this update video on the tropics so again we have our two disturbances both in the main development region are given high chances to potentially develop into tropical cyclones and if we have them both acquiring tropical storm status then they will be given the names victor and wanda and which will develop first is a bit uncertain as of right now because they're both given the same formation potential during the next five days as well as 48 hours so we'll see what happens but i would say from the windward islands of the caribbean you want to keep an eye on this because it might head to your location and so we also have major hurricane sam which peaked yesterday as a high-end category for a hurricane very close to being a cat 5 and it is now rated as the strongest hurricane of this atlantic hurricane season and so if you found this video to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And just remember to always be wise and of course I will keep you updated as time goes by.